are all curled up towards the bundle. Good morning, guys. We are in the process of having a baby today. The contractions are about two to three minutes apart. We're on 14 Pitocin. We've, uh... We are not doing any cervical checks until mm -hmm. we absolutely have to because the, the risk here that increases my chance of C-section the most is infection and doing... Having had the water broke, you know, a while ago, a long, long while ago, almost a full day ago, the more cervical checks equals the more increased risk of infection. So we're doing as minimal, min, min, minimal as possible. Don't, don't, don't even laugh at me. And we will see how things go. But hopefully we can check in with you sooner than later with something a little bit more positive. Other than that, we've been here for hours and this is... Several hours later, we are still here. No big, big changes, except Sarah did brush her hair. I washed my hair. She also got a shower. She washed with Johnson's and Johnson's. Gosh, look at my designer robe. Oh, and yeah. Gown. You know you want one. Oh, yeah. It even comes with this fancy pole. Ooh. Does the fluid <laughs> come with it? Um, no. no. Fluid tilts everything. Really. How are you doing? So the contractions are kind of rough now. Yeah. This is the uh, most active the contractions have been. Um, it's hard to say how fruitful they've been, but we do know that they, they hurt more now and they are more constant now. And definitely in a good like two to three minute interval. How does that make you feel? Oh, you're having one right now. Okay. So we are back to walking. Lots and lots of walking. Oh, here she is. I'm catching up with her. Say hi. It's been decided. Very sad and unfortunate, but we are going to end up going with the C-section. The, uh, the Pitocin did cause contractions every time we upped the dose but after a small bout of those, they fizzled out as well. All right, so after 20 hours of being at the hospital and like a lot more since Sarah's water broke, this is kind of our only option. Neither of us are happy about it. It's very emotional, it's very, it's just not what we wanted and it's, I mean, this is going to put us, you know, a little bit more out of commission going home because the recovery from a C-section is a lot more involved. Well, how do I look, guys? It's almost time. It's almost time. I'm really nervous and really excited for to see Finnegan. I, I don't want anybody to think that we're not excited for Finnegan because we are beyond thrilled for Finnegan.
peeing on us right now. <laughs> He's peeing already? He is peeing already. How's he doing? Uh, he's a champ. He's latched like a champ? How are you feeling? 256. Uh, we can tie Good. Good. You really little guy? You're not an only kid anymore. Alright, you've got a brother. Which means you've got responsibilities. Which means you gotta teach him how to grow up and be strong like you. Okay? And maybe you shouldn't throw your veggies so that he'll eat his veggies. Alright? So you learn to eat your veggies so you can teach him to eat his veggies. And don't don't be mean, okay? Alright, so you're not gonna be mean. You're gonna be best friends. The best of friends. Alright? Now, me and mommy are gonna pay just a little bit less attention to you, because we have to pay some attention to Finn. But that doesn't mean we love you any less, okay? He's okay. This is your brother. He's okay. He's okay. You gonna touch him? Are you getting a kiss? Okay, you can come to daddy. <laughs> okay. Who gets the family Bible? <laughs>